beautiful people, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful, fantastic, stupendous day today, and I hope none of you are currently struggling with allergies slash a sinus infection, which is <laughs> what I've got going on right now. Um, so if I sound a little bit crazy, well, you know, there, there's just a lot going on all up in this head of mine, but I will be the first person, okay, the very first person to assert that none of these things matter, okay? My sinuses do not matter. The overcast, rainy, disgusting day outside doesn't matter. My crazy hair doesn't matter, okay? Because today, because today, we have a brand new makeup line launch, and this is from, of course, Makeup by Mario. You guys know this. I posted it. Um, I want to say it was Wednesday or Thursday. I actually posted it in the community tab, um, as well as over on Instagram, that I was going to be picking this up and doing a full-on review for you guys. Now, today's video is just a first impression, and originally that wasn't the goal. It was supposed to be a little bit more in-depth, but, uh, you know, with, <laughs> with everything that I got going on, like with my eyeballs falling out and such, um, I, I figured we, we would just sit down and hang out with it together, hang out with it together, play with it together, whatever I'm trying to say. Um, and we, we would just, moral of the story here, we would just go through this thing together. So I guess the real question here is, uh, if that does sound like fun, definitely hang tight. Of course, we're going to be getting into it here in just a second, but at the start of my videos, you guys know me. If you are new here, you might not know this, but I like to take a real quick pause and just introduce myself and let the world know who I am. Let you guys know what is going on over here. Again, if you are new, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Hello. Hi. Um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, if you have not also heard, I am trying uh, and screaming currently to the ends of the earth, to the corners of the world, okay? I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram, so I would greatly appreciate it if, uh, if you're not following me over there yet, if you would go down in the description box and follow me. Uh, 10,000 followers would really help me out. That way I could get the swipe up feature, and I would be able to be even more interactive uh, and helpful to you guys than I already tried to be over there, uh, just because you guys know, again, if you don't follow me over there, that is where I live my day-to-day -day life. It is where I talk about, like, my outfits of the day. It's where I talk about my, my jewelry, my unboxings. I love, I love, love to do unboxings in my office um, of just random things that I find on the internet, things that I'm loving, so on and so forth. And then not only just the Insta stories, because obviously that's, like, you know, day-to-day -day as it happens, but I also really love hanging out with you guys in the feed of my Instagram, which is where I've been posting a lot of content lately. Everything from, like, I've been getting into the reels. You guys know this. Oh, my God, I'm so proud. Um, I've been doing plus-size uh, fashion reels, plus-size try-on hauls for you guys, and makeup IGTVs, like, just little quick application videos, makeup reels, makeup inspo photos, and uh, just overall, that, again, that's where I just love to share everything with you guys, everything that's going on. And really what I'm saying is that all of this could be yours, okay? All of it could be yours for the low, low price of free with a side of please go follow me on Instagram so I can hit 10,000 followers. Thank you so much. And uh, from there, let's go ahead. I'm going to, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to zoom the camera in and we're going to get started. Woo. Anybody else think that it's even better now when I, when I say the wrong words and I screw up the English language as a whole? Uh, now it just sounds that much better because my, my nasally voice, whoo, it's giving me big old Fran Drescher vibes. Uh, Mr. Sheffield. Ooh, that was good. Oh, this is going to, this is going to be so fun. So fun. Uh, there's a ringing in my ears. It's that high pitch ring. Mm. Doesn't that mean like somebody beyond the grave is like talking about you or something or or wishing a spell on you? Oh, stop it. Stop it right now. All right, so I am gonna try to keep this tucked into my cheek right here, but just so you guys know, um, I'm currently uh, sucking on one of the world's most useless cough drops, the Ludens, which are basically just like adult candy. Like, oh, I'm sick, but I need some wild cherry cough drops basically wild cherry candy, and it's one of my favorites. I've uh, had them ever since I was a kid, and for me, it's kind of like my comfort little little sickly pleasure, and so, yeah, that's going to be tucked in here if you see it or, you know, happen to see me kind of squirrel cheek in it. That's what's going on there. When will my complexion be who I am inside, which is Cindy freaking Crawford, yeah. <laughs> I love how funny I thought that was. All right, so for me, because I like to go in with complexion first, I actually want to start off with the Master Secret Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Expensive, and it said somewhere that this was like more of a balmy kind of consistency or like it had like a little um uh like dewy factor to it and because I powder my entire face I figured we should look at the consistency of this first before we try to put it over powder and you know wreck the entire um the entire facial experience here and uh, what does it say on the back it says my signature secret for creating a dewy glass-like glow for the eyes and face in a nourishing non-sticky formula just a nice little white component um nothing too fancy about this so that I'm seeing in so far, but this is the Oh my god, you guys, it is in there. I thought that was like uh, an empty pan. Does that not look empty to you? Hello? <laughs> I'm like sitting here. Um, excuse me, but it does look kind of like jello. Um, delicious. Oh, oh. 
weird okay yeah definitely so glad that i'm looking at this um before my foundation because this would 100 percent mess with um <laughs> mess with the uh, the powder i don't know how the hell are you gonna tell me that's not sticky it it's sticky can you hold on you hear that this definitely does have kind of a tacky feel to it uh and i'm not exactly i'm not exactly sure how i feel about this and i'm not sure oh okay well it does have a really pretty like glossy look to it you can see it right there but i don't foresee this being like that much different than you know like a hydrating primer if anything i feel like this is kind of going to sit a little bit heavier on the skin let's go ahead actually you know what before we go in with that i do want to prime and prep the skin like usual and we're just going to run through the basic steps and you know kind of pop in with these as we go that way it's not super long but that way you guys still get to see the benefit of the full get ready experience because y'all know I'm all about the full experience okay okay so first up we're just going in with a little Tatcha liquid soak canvas I just did a little digging around because I wasn't really sure what foundation I felt like playing with and I think I settled on the dose of colors meet your hue foundation this is in the shade 110 light just gonna take and apply some of it um, to my sponge here this is actually a color pop sponge which I've been testing these out I did a test new ColourPop video which I will link up here and I have been testing these out uh, ever since and they're actually pretty nice sponges and I think oh yeah this color is gonna work really really well okay um also where, where's my mirror I'm just doing <laughs> whoo I can't can't see anything without my glasses but you know I, I love that I don't think I need a mirror that's good hey Paige just by putting um extra coverage on your double chin it's not actually going to cover your double chin okay okay so glad that we had this little heart to chin meeting but like let's be real about the situation you know what just in keeping with uh, with the theme of the day here I'm also gonna go in with the dose of colors meet your hue concealer this is in the shade Oh, three fair. Okay, did anybody else just see my toilet paper? Like, who took who took my toilet paper? Never mind, I found it. Don't don't worry about me. And by the way, this is for my eyes. Okay, I'm not in here trying to wipe my ass on camera. I'm just really, really trying to get uh, these eyeballs to stay in my head and to stop the waterworks that is currently flowing from them like a fountain. Also, maybe it's a good thing to take the uh, the ugly sticker off the back of the mirror there, Paige. <sighs> what a YouTuber you are. So now at this point, I do want to start playing around with this little balm before I go in with any powder. Um, that way, I know for sure that there's nothing there that can mess up that texture and we can really get a feel for how this is going to look on the skin and if it is going to mess anything up. So let's just go ahead, take a little bit here. I mean, you can see it a little bit on the skin. That's not too shabby. And also do this side over here. God, that definitely, I can feel that on my skin. Like as I'm patting it and it's like stick, 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 stick. I can, I can feel it when it's tapping in and I'm not uh, necessarily loving that texture. Okay, that's for sure. At this point, I'm just going to give, you know, one more quick little blend here under the eyes. Make sure everything is nice and pressed into the skin. And then I'm going to go through and also set down um, the under eyes and through the T-zone with just my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Powder that is in the shade 05 fair and then from there just to set the rest of the face I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my usual it cosmetics celebration illumination pressed foundation powder and this is in the shade light I'm just gonna go ahead like I said lightly kind of press and pop that all over just for a little bit of bronzer I'm going in with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer this is in the shade medium I like to get that good and uh, squiggled all over the face here make sure we're warming up things and just to add a little bit of blush I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Goss weightless veil blush palette and this is in the shade blush peony and I'm actually going to take and mix a little bit of both of these together this is the uh, iridescent -y kind of pink highlighter shade but I'm just going to take and mix that in a little bit um, with the blush itself just to get a nice light little mixture there I don't think as of when you guys are watching this current video I don't think you've seen um, anything from me about these blushes but uh, stay tuned because there will be some more info coming um, I just you know <laughs> given everything that's going on inside of my cranium right now I just haven't really had a chance but uh, it will be coming soon because I, I definitely have some thoughts and I know a lot of you guys are curious about them as well So stay tuned for that. Oh girl. I'm looking kind of rosy. We're gonna blend it out. Don't worry It's all good. We're just gonna get the blend on we love a good blending moment All right So really quick I am gonna set the face down that way we can move in to a little highlighter action And for that I'm just gonna go in with some of the urban decay all-nighter ultra glow setting spray Anyways, moving into the highlighter here. This is the Master Crystal Reflector Highlighter, and I have it in the shade Quartz, and that is very, very stark, uh, stark glittery white. Okay. Okay, that is not what I expected, question mark. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure. This reminds me. Oh my god, I know exactly what this reminds me of. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, uh that Fenty Killa, nope, Fenty... 
Uh, give me a second. I have it right here. It's this one, you guys. It is this highlight right here from Fenty. I love how proud I am of myself that I was able to, like, find it and locate everything in my brain all at once. Ha <laughs> ha! Cold meds ain't got me tied down. No, they do not. I will kick their ass all over this parking lot. Uh, but anyways, I'm just so proud. This highlighter is actually fairly controversial, <laughs> controversial as far as highlighters go, because when you're used to grabbing a highlight, you know, you know exactly what you're getting. You're getting that nice kind of pearlescent sheen, and it's much more of a shimmery, consistent kind of texture and opacity. But with this one, as well as with, you know, this new Makeup by Mario one here that I'm playing with, these are more of like a clear base, but in them, they're suspended little teeny tiny, um, like micro glitters. And I will say, oh wow, those are like almost completely identical. I don't know if you can even see them, but this one right here is the Makeup by Mario, and this one is the Fenty. And they are quite literally almost identical. That is bizarre. Um, so I guess, you know, if you have this one from Fenty, don't know that you need this one. I would actually say the only difference here from what I can see up close is that the Makeup by Mario one is actually almost a little bit, um, the, the glitter is a little bit bigger, like th this one's a little more refined. And um, the Makeup by Mario one has almost a little bit more of a silver reflect to it. But now that we've established that uh, these are both very similar, both in the texture and kind of, you know, the way that they look on the skin, I would say that I'm gonna apply this one from Makeup by Mario the same way that I would apply the Fenty one, which is that uh, I don't use this as a normal highlight. I actually use this as a way just to add like a teeny, um, like an extra pop to the top of my cheekbones right here. And to do that, I just go in with my finger and kind of lightly tap it on. Obviously, because we are, you know, filming this, we want to see what this will do on its own. And so I'm still not going to go in with a brush and flick it all over because I know that's going to flick glitter all over my face. But I am going to go in, you know, with no base down and just see how this looks on the skin and, you know, see if maybe we could use it by itself or if I think that it needs um, to have more of an opaque base to it. So I'm just going to take here, throw a little bit down. And again, we're just going to really work on pressing that into the skin. I can see from a fair distance that uh, there is glitter on my cheek. Like this doesn't look um, just like a nice, you know, opaque highlight. It doesn't give me that beaming effect. And so I do think this would be the kind of product that I would need to have over top of another highlight. And so what I actually am going to do here is on the other side, I'm going to show you how I would wear the Fenty one, but with the makeup by Mario. And I'm going to put down a base first um, of a highlighter, which this actually works out kind of perfect because in uh, these Wayne Goss duo, you get a blush and a highlight and the highlight out of the coral rose duo is my favorite it's such a beautiful shade oh girl look at that cheeky moment yes please. Then like I said, over top of that here, we're just going to go in with a little bit of the Makeup by Mario. It's very lightly going to tap that on. And you can see just over top of even a light base highlighter, I feel like this looks so much better. Oh, and it actually does give you a lot more pop. That's very, very pretty. For me, like I said, I would prefer it this way over this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix that really quick like here. Let's just, you know, kind of amend the situation. All right. So of course you guys know the drill. Next up, I have to go in and give myself some brows because you, you know, you just naturally can't see mine. And so I'm going to go in with uh, my Patrick Ta Wax here, which this is the tinted brow wax. And then from there, I'm just taking the ABH brow pen. This is in the shade medium brown. And I am lightly feathering myself up some uh, some little wispy brow hairs here. All right, beautiful people. So obviously I was off of camera. The brows are all taken care of. And at this point, we are going to be getting into eyeshadow. And I figured since how I was already off of camera and I knew I wasn't going to get to do like multiple looks with these palettes, I still wanted to take a little time and do, you know, swatches for you guys. That way we could really get a feel for the consistency, how they look, and, you know, just like the overall spectrum of it. And so to get these swatches kicked off, we're actually going to start off where I did with swatches, and that would be with the All Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and it comes with shades 1 through 12 of All Matte Brown Tone Nudes. Um, some of them, you know, they might vary in undertone. We have some warm, some cool. We do have a black in there, as well as a very light-toned kind of bone-colored shade. Then again, from there, just to do them in the same order I was doing them swatch wise we will get into the master metallic palette next and just like the last palette this is a 12 pan metallic eyeshadow palette and all 12 shades are one gram a piece or 0 0.03 ounces and then of course onto the little mini palette that everyone was very intrigued by I think this is the one that you know truthfully everybody wanted to test out regardless of where they fell with the rest of the collection and that would be the master metals eyeshadow palette and this one actually comes with only five shades in it 
and each shade is 0 0.05 ounces a piece or 1.5 grams and you do have a slight array in here you have a blue a gold a bronze a copper and a rose gold shade and the interesting part about doing these swatches which of course you guys can see is that I did them in two different ways the first set is just them dry like I would do a normal finger swatch but then I also went in and added a little bit of the master metal manipulator mixing liquid and this liquid is essentially supposed to take these and make them even more metallic easier to apply make them last longer on the lids and just turn them into more of a molten liquid shade and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I didn't think just you know when I was going through looking at the collection I didn't really think that there would be any real difference between um, these when they were dry versus them when they were you know mixed with that uh, that mixing liquid in there and that's just because well first of all I'm a skeptic and second of all I've never been like a huge you know lover of mixing liquids I just I've always felt like I've been able to get a good enough result with regular shimmers that I never had to go that far and then you also have that added you know anxiety attack of having to dig in here and like really gouge out your pans and that goes against everything <laughs> that I believe in as a makeup lover like I don't want to hurt her I don't want to harm her and I sure as hell don't want to take a little spatula and like scrape her little eyeballs out like that is not what I am all about over here I love the story okay I was terrified to do it but of course I did and I am actually really happy that I did because I feel like it gave me a much better understanding of this mixing liquid and ultimately what it was supposed to accomplish like the whole concept behind it and also just as a side note I do know that you know mixing liquids like this this isn't a new concept it's not a new thing um, obviously I'm going through it and talking about it in terms of the collection because it is you know part of what was launched and what I picked up but uh, I know that there is another one available I want to say it's on like Beauty Lit no not Beauty Lish Beauty Bay I think it's on Beauty Bay all right so I just did us both a favor that way you don't have to listen to me stumble on my words and I don't have to sit here and try to guess what I'm trying to say and I did look up the one that I was talking about over on the Beauty Way Beauty Bay website huh and uh, it says that it retails for nine dollars and fifty cents and it looks like you get how much product yeah four and a half of fluid ounces you guys four and a half fluid ounces um, that is versus the half of a fluid ounce that you get with this one so quite literally what is that like eight times the amount of product um, that you get in here you get out of this one and it is also like four or five dollars less and again the reason that I get into this is multifaceted number one like I said I know this isn't a new concept and I don't want you guys to think that I'm like blown away because obviously I know it's not a new thing um, I, like I've never tried the other one but I've, I've heard of this before it's just never been my thing so that's number one and then number two I wanted to let you know that uh, according to what I've read um, like in online comments and stuff they are saying that uh, the ingredient list between the one the nine dollar one that I'm talking about on Beauty Bay and this one that they are almost identical and so if you were looking at this you like the concept you think that it really does make a difference you want to test it out it might be beneficial to go with you know this one from Beauty Bay just because obviously you're gonna get a lot more um, for a way cheaper price point also just so you guys know too as far as the pricing on all of this we will get into that um, at the very end that way I can kind of tie the price in with my thoughts what I think you need and you know that kind of stuff um, I just got into it a little bit more specifically on this item so that way I did not forget but just so you guys know um, I will have obviously everything linked down below I will link that Mayron or Miron whatever that stuff is called uh, from Beauty Bay that I was talking about I will have that linked down below um, and again pricing and all of that at the end so stay tuned for that in my final thoughts and my wrap-up but at this point let's go ahead here and uh, get into an eye look which I guys I have so many choices um, and I, I just truly don't know what I want to do because part of me wants to do like this beautiful sparkly moment like I just want to live my full fantasy and then the other part of me is like go neutral go neutral because you have so many good neutral pops and I just uh, I love all the neutral things and you know what maybe we should just pause really quickly not put the carriage before the horse and we should talk about this item right here which is you know I think one of the last eye items we have but this is the master eye prep and set and I grabbed this in the shade light because obviously I am pasty as all hell and uh, this is it's it's called an eye primer kit basically what you have here are these two different shades these are both cream bases and these are meant to act as your all over lid kind of concealer or that you know that item that's going to help your shadows really grip to your lid and then this third shade right here this is actually a lightweight little powder and this is supposed to be what you veil over top of one of these to set it in place before you go in with eyeshadow obviously you can't see um, this powder one because it's translucent you know see-through but uh, these are the other two shades in here the two cream base options oh and just as a side note too I've been using um, these makeup wipes off of camera while I was doing all of these swatches and uh, we'll talk about these at the end too but I just wanted you guys to know I have been using them and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already developing some thoughts did you hear that I'm 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 
<laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, out of these two options in here, I am gonna go in with the lighter one right here, and I'm gonna be taking that with the Sigma Precision Round P82, and I'm just gonna take, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna <laughs> really press my brush in here. Oh, and I should also take uh, take the little mirror cover off. Oh, that was so satisfying. Just gonna take, and uh, like I said, swipe this all over the lid, and this is the lighter of the two shades, of course, because I'm transparent myself. I'm actually getting a fair amount of coverage out of it. Like, it's not um, like a full cover concealer obviously but it does give I would say like a medium amount of coverage which is nice all right so in true page fashion of the brushes that I chose it looks like I have the two fluffiest and uh, that would be the e3 and the ef2 and I think what I'm gonna do is just go in with a little bit of the e3 here and I'm going to use that to lightly sweep this translucent powder all over my lid um, you know just to set everything down we got to make sure that we you know pat that little crease out because she's a sneaky little bitch this little crease right here ooh she will get you good if you're not careful. All right, so as a base, I do like the way that that looks. Like I said, it's not, you know, completely canceled out or anything, but I think it looks beautiful. It actually matches my skin tone very nicely. But now at this point, we are officially to the eyeshadow stage, and I think we are going to start off with this palette just to get some nice, you know, neutrals run through the crease. And I think I'm actually going to start off first with this shade over here. This is the matte number four. I'm just going to take this on that same brush and start by popping it onto the outer corner here and then just lightly fluffing it up through the crease. I just wanna establish, you know, some kind of a, um, a nice crease color here to blend everything else into. From there, I'm gonna go in again, same brush, and I'm just gonna go in to the shade right underneath of it here. I believe this would be matte number eight, and we're just gonna keep deeping it up. I'm gonna, you know, just like I did with that last shade, really pop it on to this outer corner right here. And then just really quickly, I'm dusting that brush off and I'm gonna go in with this really light bone colored shade up here. I'm gonna run that just up along the brow bone right here just to make sure that we can um, balance out that area, keep it nice and bright, but also blend it down into, uh, into those brown tones. All right, so I put off the hard choices as long as I could, but now I'm to the point where I actually do have to start making real decisions. I'm kind of in a spot, like I love these, which by the way, some of these, I didn't mention this um, before, but some of these are pressed very very soft and as I like run my finger over top of them they actually do start to pill up underneath of it just something to keep in mind if you do decide to pick this up you don't really want to be you know gouging in there with a brush or you know your fingers anything you just want to be a little bit more gentle because they have immense immense payoff you don't need to go in hard anyways um, and then you know if you do they're gonna crumble under your fingers so just be very careful um, but I really do love some of these shades I'm kind of torn because like obviously I have choices okay I've got several choices and uh, I'm trying to decide like I think I'm not really feeling the blue today it is beautiful but I'm not feeling it I have this beautiful beautiful pink don't mind this gold stripe right here I don't know where that came from um, but I have this really beautiful pink one right here that's gorgeous there's also this nice brown one right here and then of course I have this beautiful light toned like champagne like look at that <gasps> that one is so beautiful oh you know what <gasps> I might have just found a way around this you guys oh, the heavens just opened up I think I figured it out I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what the plan is okay you're gonna have to wait and see you're gonna have to stay with me and really track it in um, um, if you want to know what's going to happen, okay? I think from here, where we're going to go again on this new train of thought that I'm having, we are going to pick back up this matte palette just one more time. I think where I'm going to go next is into this shade right here, which is matte 10. I mean, if, if I do my math correctly here. And I'm still taking this on that same uh, E3 brush that we were using before. And I'm just being extra mindful, very careful to place and then buff upwards, really making it, you know, kind of settle into this socket right here. There's, well, there's really no socket there, but I'm trying to create the illusion of some eye depth and a little eye socket, because y'all know I have these hooded little eyeballs that just suck in product like it's their job, like little little holes of hell. And uh, we're, we're just trying to create, you know, like a nice little, a nice little outer pocket where things look nice and sculpted. All right, so I had to take a second, obviously blend that out, but then I also wanted to uh, clean up this little tray right here because we are officially gonna go in and do a little mix a -rooney. mix a -rooney, okay? I think that I've decided that because it is fall, because we are out here trying to live our best little Halloween pumpkin loving lives and have ourselves a nice little pumpkin spice moment, that we are gonna go in with this middle shade right here, which of course is this beautiful bright copper, and we are gonna go in and actually mix it with the liquid. That way it's gonna look more like this side over here versus this side, just because you can really see that 
it's a, it's, it's a lot more impactful um, with that mixing liquid. So let's go ahead here and uh, we're gonna grab, you know, a couple drops of the liquid and the little spatula. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, the mixing liquid comes with this little spatula for you to, uh, you know, scrape down the goods. Scrape down the goods, that sounds, that doesn't sound very good. Um, but let's go ahead here, we're just gonna grab a little bit of it. I'm gonna add uh, let's go with two drops of the mixing liquid just because obviously I'm not, I'm not really sure what I need. And then I think out of the brushes I have, this one is going to be a perfect application for this. This is the Sigma E25 blending brush and it's just a little bit flatter on one side but it still has a little fluff to it. And then of course from there we're just going to get it on and applied. Ooh girl. And uh, I'm not doing this like super specific. You know I don't need it to be um, like a cut crease or anything. I'm actually hoping that I can kind of blend this out with, uh, with my other shadows here and have it not be like a super rigid line. Oh, that actually does look really, really pretty. Again, I'm just lightly going over the edges of it with the tip of this brush and blending it out. Just popping it over here, um, you know, doing the same thing. And I am intentionally leaving this inner portion of my eye blank because we're gonna go in um, with one of the other shimmers from the other palette. And I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not, but I am getting just a little bit of fallout um, from this mixing medium. You can see a little here, here, and here. And they're just little specks. I think they're gonna wipe right away. And I think that they're actually there because my formula was a little bit dry. Like I told you guys, I didn't wanna go in um, with too much of the liquid and have it be overly saturated. So there definitely will be a little bit of um, of a learning curve with uh, with this stuff. Like I can see it on my lid right now. It looks a little bit dry. Um, so again, I definitely think I should have used maybe a freckle bit more of uh, of the mixing liquid. But uh, I don't think it's bad for my for my first go around with it. I actually think you know it's blending really really nicely. I will want to go in and um, add back in a little bit of that darkness on uh, on the outer V right here, but. Other than that, it actually looks really beautiful. It blended very nice. And then, like I said, I am gonna go in, obviously, and darken that up here in a second, but I wanna go in first and finish up the inner portion of the eyes. And to do that, I'm gonna get into this palette here and actually take this really beautiful, light, bright, champagne-y shade on the edge right here. And I'm gonna take this. This is a Morphe M507. Now, with this, I am gonna be applying it two different ways because this portion right here is just to make sure that, uh, that the shade blends in seamlessly into that orange shade, because again, yeah, I just want that nice, ooh, yes, honey, that beautiful um, transition. It's very seamless between those two colors. And then once I have that nice and blended backward onto it, and I've used the brush to really buff those colors together, I'm just gonna take a little bit of it here on my finger, which, ooh, girl, look at that impact. And uh, we are gonna pop that right on the inner corner, and then press the color with my finger for that extra bit of impact. We're gonna pop that right there, just to really solidify the brightness on, uh, on the inner corner of the eye right there. Oh yes, just make it that nice bright poppy color. And then now that I have that outer V good and evened out on both sides, I'm going to stay in here uh, in this neutral palette with this darker brown shade. This is the same one that I worked on to the outer V. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that and pull it along my lash line. And uh, you know, just to work that color down there. Oh, that's pretty really smoke out that area. Blending underneath of that with just a little bit of this matte four shade right here, just to kind of soften it up a little bit. Make sure it looks nice and blended. And you know what, just for a little extra fun, I'm gonna go back in with that copper shade. And I'm gonna pop just a little bit of that on, ooh yes, on the lower lash line, right in the dead center, and just blend it out in both directions. Just to add, oh my god, that was such a good decision. You guys, who am I? I forgot my freaking brow bone highlight. I'm just gonna go in with that uh, that bright shade that we used already. I'm gonna pop that right up there. All right, beautiful people. So now it is finally time to move on to the last item from the collection, and that would be the eyeliners, which I screwed up, and I meant to get the brown one as well, but I only grabbed, apparently, the, uh, the black and the bright one. And, I mean, that's okay. It'll still work for this video, but I just, per personally, I love a brown eyeliner. Um, but uh, out of these ones, you have no idea. I was just so confused just now because I'm sitting here looking at these boxes, you know, taking everything apart, and I'm like, why on earth is the, uh, the brightening one, why is it so much shorter? than the black one. Like, this this can't make any sense. And it occurred to me, hey Paige, um, the black one has the smudger on the end, and uh, you don't need a smudger with a brightening eye pencil because it's a brightening waterline pencil, uh, and you're never gonna really need a smudger with it. So, you know, just if you're like me and you might be wondering, um, the black one comes with this nice little brush on the end. That way you can smudge it out if you want to, like up along your uh, up along your lash line right there. If you wanted to smudge it out, make a little wing, or just smudge it out and make it look a little bit more grungy, a little less precise, you can do that. Um, and I actually really like the fact that 
that they include it because the brush itself doesn't feel uh, like super rough or, you know, it's like it's going to bug your eye. I think what I'm going to do for today, just because obviously I do have both of these, is take them and put this one, the lightning one, on the lower waterline, and I will put the black one on the upper waterline, of course, after I have like my mascara and all of that on and applied. That way we can see too how they look and how much they really brighten everything up um, once the whole look is really tied together. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete. I did go ahead and throw on, of course, a lip, which is just this little combo right here. And I, I actually used the uh, KKW Nude Lip Liner. This is in the shade 90s Glam. And then over top of that, I put a little bit of the Wayne Goss Gloss on top in the shade Hibiscus, just to give it a little bit of a pop. But with all of this said and done, I do want to take just a second, like I mentioned before, and start going through, <laughs> going through the pricing and kind of, you know, tying in my final thoughts. And we're definitely going to get started first with the palettes because these palettes retail for $48 a piece. And I was like, oh my word, okay, honey child ma'am. Um, we need to have a little conversation about that because for $48, which is basically 50 bucks, um, I kind of expected there to be a little bit more in terms of both product and packaging. Uh, because don't get me wrong, I think all of them performed really nicely. I didn't have any issues with blending. I think everything was very seamless um, as far as these go. So like the quality of them isn't the problem. And I didn't expect there really, if I'm being honest, I didn't expect there to be a quality problem because obviously, you know, Mario is a professional makeup artist and he's been doing this forever. So he knows what quality is. He knows what applies. And he also knows that at the end of the day, his name is on this package. His name is on this brand and this formula. And so I, I didn't expect him to put out something that was subpar, but I did expect there to be, like I said, a little bit more or a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit more of something in these to make them, um, to make them worth that price point, especially, you know, if I'm, if I'm breaking them down, um, you know, going through like this matte one, for example, I think this is the one that's getting the most criticism because it's, you know, 12 brown nude shades. Um, and yes, they're beautiful. The gradient is nice. Like I love the way that it fades. I do like the colors. I like the blend, but at the same time, like it's $48 for neutral shades that most people already have in their collection somewhere. And so that one is going to be a lot more difficult in my opinion to justify. Again, no issues with the actual quality. And if you want to pick them up and test them, I do think they're very nice. But then moving on from that one, we get into the master metallics. And this one, I think people were a little bit more okay with because they were like, okay, you know, we're getting all these beautiful pops. It's great. It's a wonderful palette. It has these nice shimmers. And I do think the colors are super nice. But again, as I'm looking at this, I do see, you know, these beautiful little pops in there. But for the most part, what I am seeing are beautiful neutral shades, shades that we've seen in other palettes as well. You know, whether you have other all neutral palettes that have mattes and shimmers or they're separate or you have all shimmer palettes, um, a lot of these shades, they're not overly unique, which again, not to say that that was the goal with his collection, not to say that like, oh, he's, you know, coming out with this crazy never before seen thing. I don't think that that's the case, but it is my job to tell you guys both the good and the bad. And I think that if I'm going to tell you the quality is good and I'm going to tell you these things that I also have to point out that, you know, you don't have to have like some horrible case of FOMO over these because there, it's not really there again, just not in my opinion. And then moving into this last one right here, which again, this one, this one out of all of them, I think was the most exciting, but also the most like <clears throat> for everybody to deal with because you're only getting five shades and it's still <laughs> that $48 price point. And I don't blame people for being, you know, irritated with that at all, because when you're looking at it, you know, on the surface level, you're like, Hey, I'm paying 48 bucks, which 50 bucks. I mean, basically if you're looking at these and so I'm paying 10 bucks a piece for each one of these shades and each one of them is 0.05 ounces or 1.5 grams. And even to go one step farther, this is actually created for you to dig into them, which means you're going to go through this product that much faster and it's going to last you even, even less amounts of time, which then you had to purchase the mixing liquid separate, which is $14. And then at that point you're like, okay, well now I'm into this, what, like 60, $62. And so you're paying that much money just to see if you can even get the effect that you're hoping you can get. I think for me, at least that was the issue with these is that, you know, to put out that kind of money and you just say like, I'm going to spend 50 bucks on this little palette. Um, I think that you're putting out, you know, a lot of trust in somebody, which not to say that they're bad again, not to say that, you know, Mario doesn't deserve it. I'm not saying his formula isn't, you know, worth checking out, but I just think that from the jump, it was really difficult for a lot of people to stomach that. Anyways, moving on from there really quickly, let's touch on the quartz highlighter. This one retails for $24 and I don't have anything against this one specifically. Like I don't think it's a bad product, but I do think that if you already have the Fenty one, the, uh, how many carats diamond bomb highlight. Um, I, I do like this one better because not only do you get way more product, this is eight grams versus what three, 3.5. Um, so it's actually more than double. And I, I highly doubt that the price of this one is also more than 
than double, so it's probably a better value, um, which again, if you already have it in your collection, it's definitely a better value because you already spent your money on it. But uh, if you already have this one, I don't think that you need this one by Makeup by Mario. I think that um, they look very, very similar. And even if I didn't have either and I was going to choose one, I think I would still choose the Fenty one just because I like the refinement of it just a little bit more because the glitter particles in there, again, they're just a little bit more um, like finely sprinkled in. It just gives it that much more of like a demure look on the skin. So for me, I picked the Fenty one. Then also we have this Master Secret Glow, which I keep thinking is still just an empty pan. And this retails for $22. It's gonna tell you right now, I don't think that you need this. Um, I don't think that it will add anything to your makeup game. I do not like it. I think it is sticky, it is tacky, and I really don't like what it's doing to like my skin and my makeup in these areas. I can see a difference, and I am not living for that. So for me, that one is definitely a pass. But I guess I have to move backwards a little bit because I didn't, didn't finish the eye category at all. But uh, this is the Master Eye Prep and Set, and this retails for $28, and I do really like it. I like what it did for the lids. I like the canceled effect, and I actually really do enjoy the shades as well. And obviously this is one of those things where I really need to like test it out over a period of time and see if it really makes a difference as far as my shadows and the longevity of them. But just in terms of my first impressions, I do like it. I don't have any issues with it. Um, but I, I do think that, you know, if you're not wanting to spend that $28, like I don't think this is something that you necessarily have to have if you already have a concealer that you like or one that works well for you. Um, and, and, you know, any sort of a translucent powder, just whatever you would use to set your face, really just any light powder that you could, you know, drape over top of a concealer that will do you know the perfect job for setting your lids um so you don't have to have this but i do see the point of it and i see why he would create something like this because it is really nice and, and it did do a great job really setting everything down but again you don't have to have it but it is really nice and i actually look forward to playing with this one a lot and then from there again staying back on the eyes we're going to talk about both of these pencils um the black one is 22 dollars the brightening one is 20 dollars and i don't have any issues with them formula wise i think they glided on nicely they work you know no issues Issues, but I am seeing already that the black one is transferring from the upper waterline down onto the brightening one. Something that I wanted to mention with this black one, like it is very, very creamy. So I think that this is the kind of pencil that if you did want one that you could use for the waterline and for that upper lash line and you wanted to be able to get in there and smudge it out with this little tool here. Um, I do think that this would be a valuable kind of, you know, thing to have with you. It'd be quick, easy, on the go. From here, let's go ahead and get in really quickly to the brushes, which I did talk about them while I was using them. Um, no issue with the quality. They're not scratchy. They blend really well. No issues, like I said, in that department. But just like with a lot of the other stuff I've talked about, um, the issue is with price. I think that for $22, he released four brushes, by the way, and uh, all four of them, regardless of what they look like, the amount of bristles, anything, they are all $22 a piece. And I think that for this collection, like, I, again, it's it's on trend with the prices, you know, with the, you know, how everything is laying out so far. But just as a brush, I, I don't think that you, you know, need to spend that much on one. I just think that there are other options out there there that are more affordable um, that are still really good whether you wanted to go like ColourPop, BH, Wet n Wild in that direction if you wanted to go Morphe or if you even wanted to go to the independent side I know refer brushes I've actually got one of them right here this is the uh, refer or refer again however you say it it's up to you but this is uh, their brush number 15 and I freaking love this it is a great blender and just overall the quality of these is fantastic and when these are in the concept store I think they're like what right around 12 to 15 ish dollars something like that and just overall a really really good quality brush of course, last but not least, I did want to touch on these briefly as well. These are the Gentle Makeup Remover Wipes, and you get 25 wipes, and they retail for $15. What I'm going to say about these is that, first of all, I don't think you need to spend $15 on wipes, um, regardless of anything. I think you can get great wipes at the drugstore or at, you know, anywhere, Walmart, Meyer. My favorite are the Simple Brand Micellar Wipes. I think they are great, and those are like, what, eight or nine bucks, something like that for a pack, and they're really, really good, great wipes. Love them. That's what I buy. Just going back to these, you know, giving them like a brief little overview. Um, there's two things that mainly stick out to me. Number one, the thickness of the wipe itself is a little bit thicker than what I would say like my, my simple micellar ones. It just has a little bit more stiffness to it. And you know, that's good or bad depending on what you look for. I personally don't care. It's nothing that I would spend more for. Um, they are just a standard size. And then the second thing about these that immediately jumped out at me, even with my nose being <laughs> all kinds of cloggy, is uh, the fact that these have a smell to them. Oh, <laughs> answer, answers on the package. Um, it says these refreshing biodegradable wipes are infused with cucumber cucumber water. They're my go-to for gentle and effective removing makeup without drying out the skin. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good to know. <laughs> I guess it's up to you, like I said before, where you sit in this camp. If you like wipes, if you don't, um, just kind of what you're looking for. But that's all the information that I have on them. And I think, like I said, I think they're okay. But I think that you can also get really good ones from the drugstore or from, you know, Meyer, Walmart, wherever you go. And 
that you know there's just there's other options out there but anyways you guys that is it those are my first impressions my thoughts my opinions on the entire makeup by mario line of course i want to hear from you guys down in the comments what did you think did you test it out are you going to test it out is there anything that really piques your interest so on and so forth like i said be sure to leave all of it down in the comments and then of course like i said at the start of the video you know just to kind of remind you gentle reminder gentle nudge um if you haven't done so yet i would love it if you would stick around subscribe turn on your post notifications and of course go check me out over on instagram and again everything will be linked down below whether it is my socials um all of this makeup whatever i talked about my earrings everything that i'm wearing to the best of my ability which i actually now that i think about it i can't link this cardigan because it is from last year so i'll do my best to link you know whatever i can for you guys down below with that i thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye i feel like this just doesn't look good does it i don't know i can't tell anymore no it doesn't let's fix it let's just put it in a button and just call it a day <laughs> oh Paige, you're a mess i mean ugh i look like a straight librarian but like not in a good way because i'm all the way up and i'm sweating to death why is it so hot why is it so hot i don't know but i have to stop and literally fan myself because i think i'm not gonna make it because it's so hot in here